All right, everyone, Supreme Kami over here. So we are back with playing Gundam UC Engage over here. So in terms of this video, what I want to do with you guys is actually just kind of go over what you can do on a daily basis. So what it's more or less like a routine kind of thing. So basically what you want to do every day, you log in, like fresh log in every day. Like what are some things you can do? Um, so this is going to be the overall purpose of this video. So in terms of this game, so I've been playing for like a good while now. I will have to say this is a pretty uh i don't know if i would call it like a, a free to play friendly for say because there's a there's not really like a competitive sense of like i really have to summon for the newest part per se i think most of the part are actually free to play you can not really free to play but you can actually grind them up for free which i'll show you guys in a bit so i think logging in every day there's obviously some login bonuses so what we actually do we're going to claim some bonus you know some blocking bonuses under the gift box right here so this right here we would just kind of basically maps out what you can get so i have this over here i don't exactly know what this one is actually because i can't read it but we did actually get a ticket for summoning so that's actually quite good as well so let me claim that right there so in terms of doing some dailies you can actually click on this one over here so this one literally maps out what are some things that are you can do for a day for let's say on a daily basis so this one right here I believe it's the daily missions and all that. So this one right here is, uh, I don't remember what this one, it's either this one or this one or it's like a daily mission. This one is gonna be pertaining to your event tab stuff over here. So these currently, this one is the one that's currently active, which I'll probably cover in a separate video. So I should probably cover it soon, sooner because this one is, uh, the event is only gonna run for like a seven days straight. So this one over here is gonna be more or less like your accumulated accumulated missions over here so this is definitely something i can just kind of claim real quick so yeah so okay so we have finished that right now so up next we need to go to shop because there's daily um exchangeable that you should probably pick up so it's just going to be this one right over here so i guess right now it's still under recharge uh it keeps saying that four hours something but i'm not sure what is what am I waiting for? You know, um, so this right here is just basically like, you know, it's just kind of more or less like your exchange shop over here. So this one, I believe in terms of this coin. So this one, I, if I recall, this one is actually, if you do like, um, if you, if you join a clan, you can actually get some token where you can exchange a lot of these stuff over here. So, okay. This one is going to be your friend points over here. I guess it's kind of representative of the F symbol right there. So this is something you can kind of pick up for sure. I would actually, so when is this one going to be recharged? Because I don't remember picking all these up or did I? I don't know. Okay, so this one is brand points over here. So let me do pick up the energy. So AP in this game stands for it. Like it's just literally legit energy currency you would be using and all that. So this, I'm going to pick this one up for sure. Okay, it's, it keeps saying four hours. I'm not sure what the, like that four something represent right there. So this one is going to be more or less like a premium currency of you as well as this one over here so all these are going to be like a premium currency that is going to be hard to guess so let's say if you if you do max out a unit so in this game if you do summon you get fragments and then if your fragment actually fills up all the way through you have completely unlocked your unit you can actually get these fragments and just kind of exchange a lot of these goodies over here i think the most prominent thing to pick up is definitely going to be the high new gunman right there obviously but uh this current time i don't really have enough currency to kind of exchange for it so yeah uh, up next in terms of some other like stuff you can actually do we're just gonna actually play through it real quick so i will actually go into the mission tab or the event tab you reveal so this one is literally like the basic outline of what it is so this one is going to be like your story mode so we have like from the actual re72 timeline so the one year war all the way up into like the the unicorn series and all that it's still continuing obviously uh, because like I uh, believe it goes up to like what you see 100 and something so definitely a never ending story at this point I'm pretty sure they will keep digging into all those like side stories uh, because they actually do have all of them so that is uh, if you guys do want to get um get like a rough overall idea of like let's let's say you're someone that never really watches like the uc timeline per se you can literally watch like their source series like they actually have a lot so um like right there and on the, on the left hand side they have like you know meeting storylines and all that so they are definitely fun to watch i would have to say because like i for one i never really watched like like the all of it the overall 
overall of it. Um, so there's definitely a lot of things that I can actually catch up if I needed to. So uh, besides that, this right here, you know the portion I talked about a free to play, This how this game is kind of free to play friendly, but it's going to be a little bit grindy. If you go over to the set, I forgot what level you have to be in in order to unlock this because I was just actually um, doing a bunch of skipping in order to kind of fulfill like some sort of missions and all that. And this one just unlocked to me. If you guys do know what ranks you guys have to be in order to unlock this one, uh, do let me know in the comment section below. So if, if anyone does ask them, um, they can get those details right there. So this is all the mobile suit that is actually in all, every one of these series over here. They are definitely going to be some um let's say you're not available for pickup for say so but what we can do in this specific tab right here we can actually just form every day you can actually form up uh free fragment for this you know here so i'm just going to show you guys real quick so i actually do have some skip tickets so that is what i'm going to be doing so um, you can do this three times a day so that's actually pretty generous of them so we can do this right here and then we can pick up some of these, you know, uh, fragments over here. You need a total of 200 in order to unlock, like having a, you know, uh, blueprint to unlock it. But uh, if you do this on a consistently basis, uh, this is going to be a way for you to just kind of obtain a unit for free. So this one's a rare unit. So this one is your SR unit. So you can actually form this one as well. So this is going to take a lot of your energy, obviously. But, you know, this is like a pretty good feature, I would have to say. If you can get a unit for free before actually spending um any any type of like actual summoning currency that is lit so you can also get the pilot as well so you can do a lot actually you can definitely go oh i don't think this one has the higher rarity this one does so unicorn is going to be your sr so it's just going to be a little bit higher so you can definitely form it up a little bit faster if you take on this stage right here but i don't have enough combat power they recommend combat power so that's why we're not we're not gonna be doing that so what we're just gonna be doing we're just gonna do this right here again so um this is basically doing what i would normally do if i would hop into the game um this aspect of it may not be the most fun obviously i think this overall game is more or less you know collecting purposes um it's just basically collecting union units i didn't i don't think this is more i don't I don't think this game is supposed to be like some sort of like a um, RPG fighting game. Like you are talking about, let's say we have the other um, Gun and Mobile game that is more or less like a 1v1 per se. This one is actually the opposite. So this is more or less like you're really um, passively playing style. So you're just literally collecting the characters within an easy timeline, which, you know, um, do like both aspects, obviously. Um, you know, one, I can kind of fight like the other game. I, I think the other one I actually did play as well but in terms of this one um this is more like a more relaxation you just kind of you know, run through a lot of these collect some units and just watch some storyline it's not bad actually so um besides that so this one is definitely like the main attraction over here there's still a lot i have not done so this is uh going to be like you can say a pseudo pvp so this is um basically uh what you can do this is like i i will not i will not call these types of you know uh, things called pvp because pvp you actually do have to play like a live player um i will have to say this is more or less another pve to me personally but um there you guys go so this, so this is basically how you can get the you know the arena the pvp coin right there so what you basically do you just kind of pick like an opponent that you think you can kind of challenge and then you just click on them and then it's going to ask you for a little bit of a download obviously right and then what we can do, what I'm actually going to be doing, just going to be um, running through with my highest combat power team. Because um, I don't know if there's actually a need to be any synergy to kind of make yourself a lot, a lot more better per se. But um, I think overall this should be sufficient enough in a way, I guess. I don't know. Like, There's still a lot of like, constant in, in terms of this game I have not really dissected into or done in my research, obviously. So quite kind of, you know, um, not good in my part, right? So... This is going to be like your menu fight style right here. So you got all your staff from my opponent and my staff as well. So we are just going to be loading in, I guess. So am I? It, okay. So in terms of this part, so now I do have a little bit more of a better understanding. So you see the unit right up top, like on the uh, lower left corner per se. You see that little dash in red. So what that really wants you to be doing, they want you to in between all these three columns. That is where they are best suited for. So in terms of the one that is red, they want to be in the very front because if you guys see, um, take a look at the combat power for say. So this one is 74,000. If I put them on a slot back, they actually do get, do they get a little bit down? They don't, huh? 
I'm surprised because they would have got some power reduction. So I'm not sure why it's not really showing. That's quite strange. I have to say so. Let me actually reorganize my team like that, and that's oh, this one's type disadvantage. So let me actually bring this one over, and we can just do this. Actually, yeah, I think that should be good, right? Let me change this one as well. So okay, so this is good. So I don't think I don't know if I'm gonna win per se. If I do win, that will be good, obviously. So like I said again, this is a very very passive playing style. So this is obviously not gonna be like an action pack. Um, PvP, right? So, I think I'm actually gonna win. Yeah. Yup, unicorn. Oh, I thought unicorn is gonna execute the Yeeks here. Can we get the unicorn Yeeks over there? Hello? <laughs> there you go. Alright, so we do actually have a new unicorn for help for summoning. But from what I heard from watching other people that have played this game, that is not actually like a limited banner. So, uh, in terms of this game, like, you know, I'm not really gonna put in any currency into the, like, I'm not gonna put in any real money. Because for one, I can't actually do that. <laughs> because, like, I, I'm not actually in Japan, so I can't. I don't think there's a feasible way for me to actually put in currency. So, um, so this is gonna be extremely gonna be like free to play friendly for me. Just. Like, if I can form up those, like, you know, fragment per day, I'm completely fine, so. Uh, we got 10 points right there for winning that one, so that's quite nice, actually, because I remember when I did try it out, I lost, and then I only got 3 points, so that is basically what you can do, so you can do, definitely do this up to 3 times, 3 times over here, so. I do wonder if I can potentially skip this, because I actually can, right? I don't know if I can actually skip it. Well, but for the time being, anyway, I'm not really gonna do the last two stages. But you guys get the overall idea of like what you can actually do right there. So, uh, I think the next thing, or probably one of the other things you can do, is actually you're gonna be doing your daily training, obviously. So right over here, um, it literally give you a few stages you can kind of take down. So this one's gonna be your upgrade material for um, more or less like your exp experience for your unit. So that is gonna be that. This one's gonna be ex uh, exclusively for your pilot. So in terms of the pilot, they give it like a different awakening or let's say energy packs that you need. So that's or experience pack that we need. So uh, those are definitely something you should form per daily basis. I would have to say so. Um, but that is not gonna be something I'm touching as well. Just gonna you know just running you guys down with like what you can do on a daily basis for say. Uh, up next, what we can do next is we can do some you know um, let's say. They call it the MS Research or something like that. So I already do have I already do have some in slot. So what we can do, we can just do this right here, and then just kind of click whatever you like. Like currently, I don't know what you can actually do. So that is what I'm gonna be doing. So it says research starting right there. So it's just gonna leave that there for like how many hours that's needed, and that should be game right there. Um, up next, uh, we are going to be doing, this is more or less, I don't know how I want to call this in terms of the translation they call it. So I think this is, you can call this like a raid boss per se, because you're literally going to be fighting one enemy. So um, that is what we're going to be doing. Why you want to be doing this? Because you can actually get some pretty good reward on this one over here. So um, so this one, we're able to successfully beat one down. So um, I barely did anything, right? Did I? <laughs> yeah. Looks like I barely did anything because like I'm barely at uh, level 50 and all my units are kind of trash at the moment. Not really upgraded yet. But what you can do after that, you can actually get a lot of good rewards that you actually want. Because this right here, you're getting these four rewards over here. They're more or less like the equipment to kind of further boost your units. So they are definitely good stuff to have which I'll kind of show you guys in a bit as well where you can equip them. I guess I'll show you guys right now before I forget. So with those equipment, what you can do right now, you can go over here. Um, you can go over to your team right here. You, that icon right there with the with the ranch and all that. So you can click on this one over here. And then what you can do next, you can just kind of select your items over there. So that where they just kind of basically tells you what it actually does and all that. So okay. So I don't know what this one is, but this one right here is saying so you can get up to a critical rate up by three percent. This one over here, you're getting a 1% dodge rate, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. Yep. And then, after that, what you can do, you can actually equip this for units. So, you do have to do a bunch of upgrading, which, you know, definitely, if I do have time, I would definitely cover it. So, right here, I do have one module slot available, so I can actually do this right here if I needed to. 
but I don't really know what I want yet at the moment, so that's why I'm not going to be equipping any at the moment. So uh, I think that pretty much sums up with what you can actually do on a daily basis. Uh, that is quite. Uh, it's not that much you have to do, and then after that, if I were to continue playing, you know, after doing a daily mission per se, or just kind of running down uh, what you can do out to reset it, I'm just basically going to be farming up a lot of those resources um, because, in order to just kind of like awaken your unit furthermore, you need a lot of these material. Which I let me just kind of cover with you guys as well. So, let's say I want to work on my unicorn and further boosting it. So, what I need actually is uh, this one is more or less like you know, unleash your ability, latent potential, if you will. So, if we click on this one right there. Oh, this one I cannot. So it's, it's actually gonna be this one. So what you can do this right this one right now, I'm actually trying to raise it to level two. So this is right here. Uh, these are all the materials that I will need. But what you can actually do um, in terms of forming up the material is uh, actually quite simple. So they literally give you like a rundown like what kind of mission actually gives you that. So that is actually clutch because I can probably skip like a few and just get get those rewards. So yeah, um, that basically sums up what I want to kind of cover with you guys in this video up here. So it's been a long one as well, but uh, do let me know if any of you guys are actually currently playing you see engage over here. But you know, uh, with that being said, that is uh, pretty much more or less like a, um, you can say a tutorial. I don't know if I want to call this a tutorial, more or less like a rundown of like what you should do on a daily basis over here. So with that being said, that is going to be pretty much it with this video so hopefully you know i think i'll sh i think i will be covering um the new event um that is something i'll probably drop in a day or two so that being said that is going to be pretty much it and then i'll catch you guys all on the next one